I'd actually want him to have some kind of uh, fatality move at the end of every level. That would be cool. Oh, I just started doing it instinctively without even looking at it. Shit, I'm just I just messed it all up now. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. Should we follow him? Ack, what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in E. Joey, Julie, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Uh, jealous? Oh yes, so jealous. Oh, play. Not again. Pickled cucumbers. Holy crap! My mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. So, it's not Olive. I like pickled cucumbers. Wait, what was that? The sofa? Really? What about the clock? The ticking clock? But to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying in here. Just for getting to the room. How about the football? Oh! Football memento. That sounds like a Latin spell or something. What else is here? A dusty pile of Animorphs books sit here. But they are not... They don't give me a memory link. It's in a whole room here. That's uh, his. I guess this is the study room. Various books with the smudged titles. Okay, for some reason that is a thing. Smudged titles. Got a bit of insight in his childhood life here. How do I rap with this football? up so bad.
Ah, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? What is this limbo? Oh, it's the house. Oh shit, is it dying? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going on a put on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the main district department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. Oh, come on. I want to see this. This can't be it. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. So what's going to happen now? It still feels like there are puzzles missing. Act 2 Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky Or just Act 2? Don't disturb them they might not wake easily, but they need a concentration. All this old fool knows, hey? Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Hi. All that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon, to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were you, if this was this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What what is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you. You are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that will then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why do you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor, is that what I truly am? Whoa. Huh? 
Ah, all of our night's work. Whoa, this is so trippy. Huh? What, what the hell? What the? At least give, at least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I ask if that's a pod, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is to pass this, this pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. To match your mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Um, I guess we have the color ones are the. Oh, we got a flower to transfer this here. Oh, uh, wait, the flower can't be here. Wait, wait just a damn second. We gotta take the bunny over there. Going good. Uh, we need the book. Wait, we, this is a little story. So in order to get the book, in order for the book to connect, Is that really working? No, they're still pretty isolated. Right? Ding! Okay, I guess we did it. I guess we don't have to be completely lining up. That's about all of the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? I don't think it's gonna work. You know me, always ready. Interesting line of work. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time. Hmm. Not this time, hon. Uh, how are we doing this? Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss, we can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached, it's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. That's a little bit too early. Let's enter from a bit further ahead to see the results. I'm guessing the result isn't gonna be too ideal. Huh. I guess this part is still the same. Let's check somewhere else.
Sheesh, the same thing here as well. Usually there, there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It, it was. So... What's going on here? It didn't work because maybe he doesn't actually mean literally going to the moon? Okay, this isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. We need his last accessible memory. Okay. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about where this is going. Let's go find him. Whoa. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalie and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him too. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. If transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even, even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. This is a little creepy. Well, this is not the earliest one. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then... Oh, we can see. Oh, the movie is about the moon now. What the... This wasn't what they said was playing? Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then! Like, is this Duncan Jones's move? I don't think that's gonna particularly encourage other people to go to the moon. Hopefully that's not for an ignition. Wait, where's Nail? Yeah, where is Nail? Are they still watching? To the moon, darling! Ooh, Henry! <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. <laughs> Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Did we just make a movie on the spot and expect it to work? And expect it to be at all watchable? Uh, sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Neo is gone. 
it's all the same. I have to try igniting it somewhere else. Then this is ridiculous. L Lily. Maybe we should just freaking talk to him. Perhaps something here could work. So, did she throw an encyclopedia on face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. This part seems the same. I don't have time for her right now. Yeah, she's not the client, right? Well, where are they going? This seems identical. Uh, also identical, watching porn on the computer class. Classic. Locked. So there are. They're in the stadium. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is. May I have your attention, please? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what is this? As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! What? Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. <laughs> Anyways. I know that many of you are wondering What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venice to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon Well here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential It could be you or you, or perhaps you. But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No. Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. We have a problem, Houston. We have a serious problem. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon, how does he have, how did he come around with so many moon facts? Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. Shut up, random person. It's not about you. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you. Especially if you're brunette. That's not gonna work. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. Let me guess, it did it. There's no bloody way that worked. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. 
at this point, we're just basically trying to get him to the moon against his wish, it seems. Even though it's supposed to be his lifelong dream, nothing here reflects that. Such as? Well... A scheme is unfolding. <laughs> I can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for. But can you afford the lunar <laughs> trip lottery? <laughs> oh my god, Dale, you're so desperate. If you sell this house, you sure can. Is the dark dose is certain? Yes, it Oh my god, I can. I can't, I can't take this. This is too much. This is too precious. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. <laughs> Free pony rides in space. Wow. Oh look, a wedding good for you. And here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? Wow. I've seen desperation. And now I've seen this. River? Dark the big glass slippery. Johnny! J -J John! What the cucumber? Phew! You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at you like an idiot. <laughs> you did it? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be in an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree, you should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as Valleybot's time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Like what? Call, call who? From this time? It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Secondary condition... Only then... The same desire produced two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River? Maybe? Are we supposed to just stop them from... Meeting ever? Just what exactly did you do? I mean, they, they even tried before they talked to each other for the first time, right? Uh, no, I think they kept that part intact. So, they tried to influence him from... All the attempts were from after he already met River. At least they already tried to take her out, but... Even though it was for a uh, with an ulterior motive. Ah, the sun's rising. 
We don't have much time left. I wonder if Nail came up with anything. Hey, party. Now the squirrel nail ran over all the way from here now. The chart is still here. But mama, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. That's kind of cute. Now that's just cute. Oops! Turn it off, you dying doofus! Whoa! Did Johnny start painting again? Uh, dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. We already saw that. I'm gonna leave the lights on. For no particular reason. Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you're even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you wanted to ask, let me sit down first. again. Whoa. No, I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter. Where did you get the coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes, I'll fill in after. Now shh. I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh yeah, where did you find that? I thought you shhed me. Temporarily I shhed. Oh ain't I lucky. But I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There's a bunch more of them there and in the basement too. Huh. Uh huh. All right, resume shing. There's really no point in turning on the lights, but it's just a totally interactable thing in the in the room. Okay, Lily has set her ass down. Let's go talk to her for some more. Oh, was this something you wanted to ask? Uh, talked about her. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Uh, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I, ex I accepted it with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't a government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. And as for Johnny, he was glad as well. 
We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted the family. The kids? So, what are you going to tell them about John? I I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's, it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Oh, the truth is, kids are always smart. Except maybe me, but there, 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 well, I was the exception that proves the rule. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Future. This is your full time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny and his place. Maybe I'll come back to visit everyone every once in a while. Okay, that's all the questions we got. Oh, hey! Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Oh. Oh, that just makes us feel extra shitty for not being able to do what he wanted, or even understanding it. Uh, the time is like uh, early in the morning. And house? Oh shit, he's in yellow. He's in yellow. For someone who just finished the three Resident Evil games in a row, check those out on my channel by the way. From green to yellow is like bad. You, you gotta take some... Well, it's not usually panic mode yet. You, you need some uh, herbs or a health spray once you hit red. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Yeah, I already saw him. Are these Johnny's paintings? Lighthouse by the cliffside, that's Anya. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue, that's gotta be, uh, that's uh, gotta be River with the little rabbit that she made for John. The platypus toy. Casual painting of three people. Um, the three people? Would that be like Isabella? And uh, Nicholas and who else is that gonna be? Well, these paintings sure make more sense now, more so than they ever did before. I feel like we're in kind of a Citizen Kane story, you know? If anybody's, uh, if you haven't watched that movie. Well, it's a really old movie and it's probably not for everybody, but I do suggest you go check it out. Especially if you are interested in filmmaking and the uh, history of movies. That pretty much makes Citizen Kane a must watch. And uh, the whole premise of that movie is that just a really uh, rich and powerful person, like one of the, the richest and most powerful, most famous person in the world, uh, Charles Kane. Wait, is that his name? Well, he's the Citizen Kane, the title. He died at a very old age and his last word is Rosebud. And because he led such a spectacular and uh, well-documented life, but people were puzzled by this last word of his. Like, And uh, there was this, uh, these journalists that scrambled to uh, retrace his life to visit and uh, interview the people closest to him to find out what uh, Rosebud might mean. So I think I write a cool story, and it is a pretty cool story. It's a groundbreaking cinematic achievement. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records to be exact. Apparently during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck! They tend to have this little side effect 
on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers? Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. Wait a second, what? And in such a large amount. Its impacts on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory eternally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. Well, we can find his latest accessible memory. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going I'm going out to get some fresh air. Uh it smells of roadkill outside. Um forgot my coffee. God damn it, I thought he had a Eureka moment. Beta blocker. Okay, curious concept. A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. Last paper rabbit River gave to John. But it doesn't interfere with the accuracy of those. I told you it smells. Quit barging in and out of doors. Roadkill, Eva. It smells. I know it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at, it was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic, limbic system, really? Don't you see what this means? I, I'm... what? It means the smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I, I think I'm missing some vital context drug info on this whole thing. <laughs> There's no right context for this. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. But you just need to go fetch a piece of the road here. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. God damn it. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow.